What's going on YouTube? Joshua here with SaltyScales.com. So today's topic of discussion is my three favorite soft plastics for late spring, early summertime flats fishing. Now these three are personally my favorite um, and they can use all up along the Gulf Coast. Specifically in the Tampa Bay though, they're extremely productive. So I hope you enjoy this. Also guys, today I'm going to be um, revealing the 45,000 subscriber giveaway winner. So stay tuned, that'll be towards the end of the episode. I hope you enjoy these uh, tips. First things first, DOA quarter ounce shrimp. You cannot go wrong with a quarter ounce shrimp, guys, especially in this electric chicken color. I have no idea why, especially the trout, but trout and snook absolutely love this color. It's got that pink back with a little glitter green bottom. But what's really nice about these guys is it has a weight internally that allows it to descend and look very natural and it gives a nice sharp jerk, uh, jerking motion when you snap that rod tip. Now, this is gonna be perfect for mid column and even fishing the bottom um, so, or closer to the bottom. And <clears throat> you're gonna get a nice even descent descent this lure is deadly super effective for covering that water in that one to four foot range highly recommend it fish it in grass the hook is somewhat um, exposed so you're gonna get really ho good hookup ratios um, but the grass doesn't catch on to that too too aggressively like it would with a treble hook tricks are for kids all right guys, if you're not using the trout trick worm from Z-Man, you should be. Now, I actually posted this on my Instagram the other day. You guys are guessing it. Uh, this is called the Iguana Daiquiri Color. Let me pull one of these babies out of here. So this lure here, guys, is very aerodynamic. And guys, it's a Z-Man, look at this. Oh, it's crazy. You can use this as a workout band. <laughs> So, what's really cool about this, guys, is it's super elastic like all of the Z-Man products. I equip this with a um, Mission Fishing jig head, typically a quarter ounce. Sometimes, uh, you know, I'll go up to a half ounce and a one-eighth ounce if I'm fishing uh, real spooky or shallow water. Um, but this color is really good. Chartreuse, guys, as I've covered in many of my videos, it is super deadly. Chartreuse is like... I don't know what it is for fish, but they absolutely love chartreuse. Now, again, you can rig this um, many different ways. You can rig it, Texas rig it like you would a bass, um, but my preferred way is on the Mission Fishing Jig Head. So let me show you how to do that. So the first thing I like to do, guys, take my Mission Fishing Jig Head, run that right through the nose of this bait, and you pretty much just wanna push it until it starts to turn onto the bait. And you'll see that there's a little slot or a groove on this trick worm and it's designed specifically for your hook. Just go ahead and push that through and we're gonna let that hook come right out of that little slot. All right, so you should be about right there. You know, put, press the saw plastic over the hook keeper and that's gonna really help to keep it in place. And that should be the final outcome of your trout trick lure. DOA cow shad. Um, guys, jerk baits are really, really effective. First off, you could fish them in most scenarios. You could fish them in all different water depths. I really like fishing them from that one foot to six foot range. But the swimming motion and the erratic jerk motion that you get with these is amazing. You could rig them all different styles, preferably the most uh, uh, productive ways would be with a jig head. Mission Fishing I like. Um, you could Texas rig it and you could put a little weight, just like it shows actually on the package here. Make it weedless, put a little weight here and that'll really allow you to pop that lure. Um, or you could use it without the weight if you're fishing real shallow water and it's super effective that way as well. Again, you can see here, electric chicken guys, there's a reason I like electric chicken. It's very, very effective. So. What I'm going to do is walk you through a series here, guys, of how to rig them so that way you can see 
and see how to effectively rig them so you catch that much more. All right, so you saw how I rigged the trout trick worm using the Mission Fishy jig head. This time around, I'm gonna show you how to Texas rig or rig the DOA cow shad jerk bait in a weedless manner using a simple hook and There's a many different shad. ways that you could Texas rig this. One, one of the ways I like to use uh, is a two to three eye owner gamagatsu hook. You can even use a mustad. Um, and you can see how this weight is already pre-rigged onto the hook so it's not going to move it's not going anywhere but what i really like is this bait keeper it makes things very simple and allows you to rig it real cleanly all you have to do is take your the nose of your bait go ahead and screw this in to the nose of the bait all righty now you'll see on the underside just as it, uh, in the z-man product it has this little slit or groove. What you want to do is take your hook, take your index finger and your thumb and push the bait up. Now what you want to do is run the hook right out the back and you'll see that on this cow shad there's also a groove on the top specifically for the hook. Pull the hook through and you'll see that that hook lays perfectly flat on the back of that bait. And what that does is it prevents the weeds from grabbing it. And you, I mean, that is a sexy little bait right there, guys. Now, when that fish strikes it, the hook is then exposed. All right, so I know what you guys are really excited about. You're excited for the 45,000 subscriber giveaway. And I'm just as excited, guys. I can't lie. Um, I'm almost to 50,000. That's my ultimate milestone. And that's a big milestone, guys. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go inside. We're going to go ahead and use a random picker to choose the 45K giveaway. It's like over a $200 value and stuff. All of you that played, I appreciate it. All of you that have supported the channel this far, give us thumbs up. Pound that like button for 45,000 subs. And uh, I can't wait till we get to 50,000. At 50,000, I'm going to do a, a freaking awesome giveaway. I promise you that. Let's go in here and uh, see if we can do this random generator and see who this lucky winner is. Let's do it. So here we go. I'm going to go grab this link here, 45K subscriber giveaway. I'm going to go over here to the YouTube random picker. And we're going to paste this in here. Can I get a drum roll, please? <laughs> guys excited are you excited if you're excited about this one you're gonna be super excited for the 50k giveaway all right here we go filtering duplicate users 240 comments and da -da -dum. winner Sam Ham he says love the videos very helpful and great quality I have participated Sam Ham with two M's, you are the lucky winner. Hey man, thanks for playing, thanks for sharing, thanks for giving the thumbs up guys, thanks for commenting below. Um, I'd like to see you guys all more on the comment section, but hey, 50k is rapidly approaching. I think I'm getting, I don't know, 100 subs a day, somewhere around there. So we'll be at 50k in no time. So Sam Ham, message me. Uh, email me joshua at saltyscales.com your shipping address your all your information and we're going to go ahead and get you out your box of two hundred dollars worth of goodies all right guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give a thumbs up comment below and subscribe hey turn on that little bell thingy turn the notifications on that way we can interact all right guys until next time i'll see you on the water